kickoff here. Lions are getting ready. One thing before we get started, we want to talk about tomorrow afternoon, I believe it's opening of season, the hunting season. We want to say, hey, be safe out there, folks. Be careful, be safe, uh, go out and have some fun, but be safe. Definitely enjoy the natural resources that we have and, and the opportunity, but take care. We want all of you back to listen to more of the games. We're getting ready for the kickoff. Lions are approaching out there for the captains again. They're going to meet in midfield to go through that ceremony one more time with the flip of the coin. That's already been done, though. From what I can tell from earlier, it's the Spirit Lake will be deferring from the deferring. It looks like they're actually flipping the coin again, Dick, so maybe they didn't do it the first time, or they're just going through that motion of it. Lions back will be towards the south end zone, left to right. You might be able to hear that. <laughs> the uh, ref says that they've deferred it. Central line will receive. Spirit Lake's defending the north end zone to get it going off. It wouldn't... It would be a very good thing to start off with an opening kickoff all the way back and return it for a touchdown immediately. But the Lions are geared up. You can see that you have some anticipation. You have some things happening there. Some good things are going to happen tonight, and the Lions are really going to take control. You can really feel it and see it, and, and you're, you're ready for that. We've got 40 seconds to go. But again, we want to thank some of our sponsors tonight. We want to thank Heartland Equipment. We want to thank Premier Bank. We want to thank Cody Olfert. We want to thank the Web Climber Services. That's right, and... Uh, with Heartland uh, Equipment, they are sponsoring this first and second half kickoff. The first half kickoff coming up just very shortly. Kick off the cool season with a clean corn stove to warm your home. Call Big Ed at Heartland Equipment in Dune. And obviously after we score, Premier Bank. They will be sponsoring all of our extra points. Make it a point to stop by Premier Bank to talk with their loan experts about your farm or small business needs. We're getting ready to kick off here. Lions are on the field right now. number of them going ready. The Spirit Lake is setting the ball up in the middle of the field on the 40-yard line. Looks like Jordan Gakey's deep by himself at the deep 10-yard line. Number four, Dylan Reynolds, is on the 20-yard line. And across from him is number 23 for the Lions. Lucas Eben. Lucas Eben. He's ready to return one as well. I like it when he gets it because he can move. I like the way he runs. It reminds me of, of a fleet of foot person. We're getting ready for the kickoff. He's approaching. The ball is a squib kick. Gets to about the 45. It might be recovered by Spirit Lake. And it does look like Spirit Lake recovered the ball on a squib kick to the onside on the left side of the field. Not something to start the field off, something to start the game off. Good coaching on that. And uh, something they've got nothing to lose. They figured they're going to have a, a, a tough time in the game anyways. And here's an opportunity to catch the sleeping, which they did. Nobody went after the ball for the Lions. Spirit Lake went after it and recovered it on about the 43-yard line. What actually happened there, Lions lineman up front went to block it, hoping the ball would go through, but it didn't go far enough. It's on the 43, first and 10. They come out with two split to the right side, two eye backs in the backfield. Has quarterback rolls back to his left. Left-hander throws an incomplete pass down to about the 35-yard line. Nothing there. He was kind of scrambling a little bit. His feet were hopping and bopping, but he, he, if he would have waited a moment or two, I think he had the time because he didn't have anybody in his face, Dick. And he threw the ball just a little bit high. Uh, we had a, a defensive back a little bit deeper that wasn't quite ready for that because of expecting it to be a little more on target. And uh, so, yeah, it looks like they're going to open things wide open. Looks like Derek Johnson's ready in the defensive backfield on Brandon Cool. Lions set up in there. 5-4, if you will. Quarterback under center, two tight ends, two backs in the backfield, one split to the left, hands off to number 21. He's tackled by a fine tackle to 45. We're going to find out who that was. I think that was number 28, Scott Eben. Scott Eben, Scott Eben on that tackle. Very nice job right catching him. Good wheels, good speed. We got 11.35 to go. Third and about 11. Lions are ready now. They've got four down linemen currently. Double split, one to the left, one to the right. Wide side of the field for Spirit Lake is on the right side. Quarterback rolls back, hands off to a 
man who doesn't get very far to about the 47. Looks like number 48, Ethan hopping on the tackle there on a solo. And uh, next one right in there that was going to help him out necessary was number 19, Tyler Starr from that middle linebacker position. Very nice job of getting in the backfield again, breaking that one up. That ball is brought back to about, oh, let's call it the 47, 40, 48 almost, 4 and 14 to go. They're getting ready to punt. He's going to punt from his 40-yard line. It's ironic because that's where they kicked off from, Dick. That's right. And uh, right now, they did punt it. It's going to be a poor punt off to the left, uh, out of bounds, and it looks like it's probably going to go about, what, the 25-yard line, something like that, 30-yard line. That's right, Dick. That was a, a poor punt, but it did go to the left side. You're doing well on play-by-play. Keep going. <laughs> 10 minutes, 41 <laughs> seconds to go in this quarter. First and 10, Lions are going to take over on their own. Uh, they look like about the 30-yard line. Marked at the 30-yard line. Lions, Lions are getting ready defensively. The, the Spirit Lake is already on the field. Ball's on the 30-yard line of the Lions. Looks like Reynolds breaks to the right. That's the short end of the field, the short side, if you will. We've got Halls on the left side of the field, triple back threat in the backfield. Eye back situation. Does that look like Tyler Starr to you? Yes, it looks does. Like Tyler Starr at the eye back. He breaks one off to the right tackle. He's out almost to the first down. It looks like he could be past the 40. It does look like a first down in his very first carry from the line of scrimmage. That's right, and uh, they flanked out uh, Dylan Reynolds that. But Tyler Starr tailback. Brandon Cool was at the power back, and Scott Even is playing back in his familiar position to fullback. Nice blocking up front right off the right side of the tackle. Obviously, everybody knows the right tackle is David Shue over there. For correction, I'm sorry, that's not the person. Yes, it is. Right tackle, David Shue, offense and defense. Here we go. Reynolds comes out of the huddle early. He's breaking to the far wide side, left side of the field, double tight formation, triple back threat again. Tyler Starr at the eye back position this time. Once again, hands off. He goes to his right side. He breaks it loose to the 50. He's brought down on the other side of the 50-yard line, about the 48. That looks like it's about an 8- or 9-yard carry. If not, very close to a first down. Another good run off of uh, off tackle on that one, and they're marching that right at the 49-yard line, which is going to make it second and one. Talk about a whole new look for the Lions, getting things spread out. Two carries for him, almost 20 yards. Yeah, that's a pretty good yardage for him, again, average. Again, Reynolds breaks early. The right side of the field is the wide. He goes out as a split out there. Hall's on the left side. Triple back threat again with Tyler Starr at the eye back position. Gakey under center, hands off full back up the middle. He doesn't get much but a yard or so, but it looks like it could be another first down for the Lions. Up off the bottom of that, number 43 and number 28. Number 28, obviously, carrying the ball. That Scott even, number 43 with a good block. Sam Halls with the block. They're moving some sticks for a first down again. Right from a bringing the play in, right side of the field would be the open side of the field for the Lions, headed towards the north end zone. And this time, Star breaks to the far left side. That's short end. Reynolds will be the eye back behind even as the fullback. Motion and man, man in motion, should we say, as Tyler Starr to his right. Looks like the handoff to even to the right side tackle. He's to the 40, down to the 35, spins, gets to the 30, past the 30 to about the 28 yard line. Move those sticks for another Lion first down. Excellent run by Scott Even, not going down even. I'm sure he's just happy to be back on that offensive side of the board, ball this week also and being able to get some carries. And it looks like he's got some good wheels to run on tonight. Nine minutes to go, first quarter. Lions on the move. Three first downs thus far, first quarter. Ball on the 29 yard line of Spirit Lake. Brandon Cool and uh, Jason Reifkema coming in with the plays. We got a double tight formation. Reifkema to the left, Halls on the right, triple back threat in the backfield with Reynolds as the eye back this time. Backs are down. Geeky hands off to even again. He gets his feet taken out from under him early, but he probably gets a yard and a half before he's brought down. At least he's moving forward. That's the whole thing about it. That's right, and uh, he fell forward. That was the power that he had. Didn't pick up much yardage, but uh, he did a good job there. We have to get the number on number 48. He was coming out. Ethan Hopp coming out. It didn't look like he uh, was really running on all. A little bit of a stumble bunny, but in terms of didn't look like his wheels were all working right. Double tight formation for the Lions. Triple back threat in the backfield. Looks like it's a fake handoff to even up the middle. Gakey keeper on left side. He gets about to the 25-yard line. Brought out of bounds. Clock still running the way it looks. Tackled about the 20 five yard 26 yard line depending on where they actually mark it looks like they're going to put the ball down on the 26 for a lion gain they've got about six yards to go that good defensive effort by spirit lake on that holding uh, jordan geeky on the outside uh off the short side of the field on the sidelines only a couple yards wide side of the field with reynolds going out that way is on the right side 
Hulls of the tight on the left. Right from a tight on the right. Double tri triple back threat with Tyler Starr in the backfield. Gets it again. He goes to the right. He takes a little bit of his feet underneath him. They come out from underneath him, shall we say. He gains about a yard and a half again. So it's going to be fourth down and probably about three to four yards. Again, big down for the for the Lions. They want to keep this drive going, and they want to get some points off of this and establish themselves here. And uh, Spirit Lake's uh, really stiffened up here in this uh, series of downs on this first down and only giving us about six yards on three carries. Brandon Cool coming out of the ball game. Nick Bixman going into the ball game. We have the ball placed right in the center of the field. Bixman breaks the, the huddle early, goes to the left side. Hull is on the right side tight. Star inside is a flanker on the left side. Reynolds in the backfield. Ibach stumbles his... Gakey pitched back to Reynolds. Reynolds is on the ball. It's a fumble, actually. It ends up to about, oh, well, let's call it the 36, 37 yard line on a recovery. Looks like it's going to be Spirit Lake taking over. That's right. Uh, somebody got a hand in there as Jordan Gakey tried to pull away on that option play and, and was bringing him down. He tried to pitch it. That uh, was a little bit errant. Uh, lost quite a bit of yardage on that. It was a fourth down play, so it's going to be Spirit Lake's ball, anyways. I'm getting the impression the field is a little wet. wet. It must be because there's been some slipping on a couple of plays out there. And so we're going to have to see if they can make an adjustments on that, whether it's longer spikes for the shoes or just keeping your feet under you. They're under center, double back in the backfield, pitch out to the far left side, the number 17 of Spirit Lake. He's on the key reception side of it. He's running down the sidelines to about the 45, depending on where they actually mark that ball. But that was a pitch out to the far receiver on the left side. He gets down to where they're marking it to about... Should we say the 45-yard line? Uh, somewhere right in there is where they're going to be marking that. Picked up a good first down. Uh, he caught it at the line of scrimmage. Defensive All back tried to hold his own until he made a move, but he was able to get to the outside and pick up some good yardage. The receiver on that was a senior, David Dinklage, number 17. Now they break the huddle again. Spirit Lake does split to the right. That's the wide side. Quarterback hands off second back through. He's met by Tyler Starr, by, by Zimbleman by a number of other Lions in there, number 28 even, coming up off the bottom of the pile, Dick, if you can see it, I'll let you say it. Number 48, Ethan Hopp. Ethan Hopp in on the bottom of that one, so he got stuck up early, and he was held up early, and he was knocked back early. 6.24 to go, first quarter, scores 0-0. Zero to zero. Lions were on a drive, actually had an errant little pitch, but it didn't do much for the Lions. Spirit Lake takes over. They're down to a 47-yard line of their own 47, second and 11 to go. Breaking the huddle, they come out with a split to the left side, which is the short side of the field. One man flanking to the right side. Quarterback rolls back, hands off, second back through. One man misses the tackle. 65 is in on that one for the Lions. Number 65, David Shue, along with number two, Brandon Cool. Uh, 19, uh, Tyler Starr's in there, and coming off the bottom of the pile is... Uh David Chu, number 65, uh, picked up about a yard or so on that. This third down and nine. We did have him stopped in the backfield, but he did get out of that one with a little bit of good running. 5.37 to go. First quarter, third and nine, ball in the 45. We can anticipate a possible pass on this one. Quarterback in the shotgun, trips to the far left side. One man to the right. So they don't have a lot blank. Now there's a pitch is up high. Number comes in, gets the tackle. We're going to get the tackle, a number on this one on the blitz. That was uh, Jordan Wagner who got that one. Jordan Wagner from his defensive end position. What a great job that he did on that. Jordan Wagner on that one, number 75, from his right defensive tackle. They actually marked the ball back at about the 47-yard line. What a nice job by him blasting through there. 4.58 to go. Again, Spirit Lake going to punt the ball. He's punting from the about 35-yard line. Deep is number 17 for the Lions. And number nine for the Lions, Derek Johnson. Punted to Gakey on the right side of the field. He's getting the ball about to the 30, not quite. Then brought down by a host of Spirit Lake. It looks like Spirit Lake did a nice little job punting and a good coverage on that. Yeah, there was kind of a line drive kick. I uh, thought there might be an opportunity for a return, but it wasn't real deep. And uh, they had a couple guys down there very quickly to keep Jordan from getting anywhere. Spirit Lake is putting up one strong fight on defense and doing and holding the ball and eating up the clock on offense. So you've got to really give them credit, considering they're at the bottom of the barrel, if you will, in terms of their record. That's right. Their record right now is one and seven. The Lions are eight and zero, oh, and uh, you can't tell the difference yet. The Lions break from the huddle, handoff second back through is Reynolds. Reynolds get to about the 30-yard line before he's brought down. Not a bad piece of running, but he did not have a lot of room to get through. Reynolds, ball carrier. Yeah, picked up two yards on that. Again, it, the defensive line and defensive uh, backers are doing a very good job for the Spirit Lake Indians. In for the Lion, Derek Johnson, Nick Bixman, 
both bringing it in. Number 19, Tyler Starr, going to the sidelines for a moment. 4.14, clock is a tick, and Bixman to the la right, Johnson to the left side of the field. Ball about in the middle of the field, if you will. Single back, eye back situation, even. Passes out to the outside. It looks like it's over to Johnson, but Johnson was breaking down the field. Didn't look like they were both on the same page on that one. No, uh, I think uh, Jordan thought he was going to cut outside or stop and go very quickly, and he was going deeper, and fortunately, the ball fell incomplete rather than defensive person coming in there and getting that interception. Correct. It was a very quick pass, so that helped in that manner where he only had a short drop where he actually took a two-step drop. Right now, Johnson bringing the play in and Bixman coming back into the field as well. So they're both going in. It's four minutes, one second to go first quarter. Bixman breaks to the left, right side. Johnson to the left side. Eye back situation is Reynolds in front of him as the big fullback, Scott Eben. Jordan Gakey under center. He rolls back about a three-step drop, and he takes off as a quarterback run. He's running to his right side. He's going to the 40, not quite to the 40, but he gets to about the 36 before he's brought down inside and in play. It's going to be just a little bit short, I think, so it's going to be interesting to see whether uh, the Lions are going to gamble on a fourth and less than one. And I'm really enthusiastic about the way Spirit Lake has really come out to play. They're coming out here really wanting to play, hitting the ball hard, and hitting the players hard. Looks like there is an official timeout on this one. They're going to put the ball down, take a look and see. They may end up measuring, which they are. So there's 3.51 to go. Dick, I'm impressed with this Spirit Lake team of their enthusiasm and desire to play ball. And they've done a good job. They didn't come out here and are intimidated or anything like that or in awe and say, you know what, we're at the bottom. We don't have a chance for playoffs or anything. We'll just give up. They're playing for pride, and they've done a very good job so far tonight. So the Lions are going to have to buck up and get more focused and say, okay, we've got to take this ourselves. They're not going to give it to us, which is good. And it is good. It gives a test to the Lions, and that's what they need in every game. And, and the thing is, you don't want to play flat against a team that could come in because they're going to come in here with their hopes up and their desire because the Lions have a target. That's right, and, and Spirit Lake has nothing to lose. 3.51 to go. First and 10 for the Lions. Ball in the 38 of the Lions. It's on the left side. Wide side of the field to the right. Hulls is on the tight end on that side. Right come on the left side. Man in motion is star to his right. Eye back situation. Looks like Gakey hands off to even off the right side tackle. He cuts back for a little bit of a gain past the 45 to about the 47 yard line before he's brought down. Nice running by even. That's right. He kept his feet underneath him and made a couple uh, breaks each way, looking for blockers, trying to pick up as much yards as he could. He picked up another first down. And that's a 10-yard gain on that one. That's not a bad pickup. So it's first and 10. Ball's about on the 49-yard line where they actually mark it. Derek Johnson into the ball game with another play for the, for the captain, Jordan Geeky. It looks like Starr splitting off to the far right side. Left side is Johnson split out. Eye back position again is responsible for Reynolds. Man in motion to his left is Starr. Triple back threat. Looks like a fake handoff. He's back for a pass. Ball over the middle, really high, really overthrown. Not much of a chance. No, uh, there was no chance for Derek Johnson to get to that ball. The ball needed to be lower and thrown uh, a little more to the middle, but there were defenders coming there. He put it where no one's going to get it except the receiver. I like the fact he had some zip on it. If you're going to do a throw like that that's going to go errant, make some zip on it, get it done. Two players coming into the ball game. Brandon Cool, right come up, going in with him. Two players coming out, Tyler Starr. Somebody else is already out the way it looks. Nobody else is coming with him. Three minutes, nine seconds to go. Second and ten ball in the 49 of the Lions. Triple back threat in the backfield. Double tight formation. Handoff second back through. It looks like it's even with the ball. He's past the 45 down to about the 44-yard line. Nice pickup about six yards on that. Yeah, we're down to where it's going to be like third and three, third and two. Uh, very manageable situation. We're on the Spirit Lake side of the field. This will be four down territory if necessary. Absolutely. Lions are out there getting ready to gear up for another play. Number 11, Nick Bitsman bringing in the play for the Lions. Geeky addressing it to the players. Brandon Cool coming out of the huddle. Number nine, Johnson going in. We've had some confusion. Time out. We're going to send this back to the studios. You're listening to Kyle FM 105.3. Welcome back, fans, to uh, Dick Null Field here. We have got a uh, third down, two yards to go for the Lions, uh, sitting at uh, the Spirit Lake 43-and-a-half-yard uh, line. Uh, both teams are on the field. The Lions are breaking the huddle. Gordon Jakey going up under center. We have Nick Bixman split left and Derek Johnson split right. 
Man, is he good at that. Could Gakey under center getting ready to hike it. It's off to Reynolds. Reynolds off the right side past the 40. 35. Reynolds with 20. 30. He's down to the 25. Almost the 22-yard line. Great run by Reynolds. That's the way to get the knees up and motor. And he uh, cut to the outside. An excellent job by Derek Johnson blocking and keeping his defensive back from coming in and trying to make the tackle. No holding or anything like that. He just got in the way and kept them out there. Nice job running off tackle on that one. 2.27 to go. I took a little nap there and Dick took over for me and I really appreciate it. Splitting out to the far left side, Derek Johnson double tight on the other side of the field. Left side, wide side field to Johnson over there. Looks like it's a handoff to Reynolds. Left side tackle. He's down to the 25, 15 to the 10. Open it up. He's looking for a hit. He's going to the goal line for a score. That's up. It's a touchdown, Ryan! Excellent run by uh, Dylan Reynolds there. And I tell you what, Derek Johnson just upended one of the defensive line, uh, players for Spirit Lake. Uh, coming over, trying to make that tackle. He came back and just flipped him in the air on his back. What a super job by doing that for the Lions. And actually, he just walked in. And what I mean by walked in, he slowed down and didn't have to put the speed into it. What a score to get it going. Zimmelman on for kicking the extra point for the Lions. Cody Zimmelman kicks the ball up in the air, and it is good for the extra point. And that extra point being sponsored by Premier Bank. Make sure you stop in and talk to one of their loan officers about any of your small business, farming, or personal needs for loans. And also remember that we also do and thank them for allowing us to be in Premier Bank for our Saturday morning coaches show. Currently 7 and nothing. Dylan Reynolds making a run of it. What a nice job of getting in the hole fast, hitting it hard, and the blockers in front of him. Again, the Lions are blocking, and that's what makes it open up, and that's why the Glory Boys can take the glory. That's right. Uh, those wide receivers, uh, we were throwing the ball a little bit more, but uh, they're doing an excellent job of blocking for these backs when they do get downfield. Two minutes, eight seconds to go. Lions are going to get ready to kick it off again. It's 7-0 to zero is the score. Before we get this quarter done, first quarter, nice run, nice job by the Lions getting out blocking the Spirit Lake. They're out there. They are still hanging in there, doing what they need to do. They're That's working right. hard. Uh, and uh, the Lions are looking and finding out what uh, they're going to give them. They've taken away some uh, plays that we've run and uh, given us some others, and the Lions are finding out what's working well for them. Lions are getting ready. The ball is placed on the 40-yard line, right square in the middle of the field. Zimbleman's back. He's approaching the ball right now. As he kicks it off, it's a high end over end. It's going to come down at about the 10-yard line. It's recovered there to the 15 to the 20. The runner's on the left side of the field actually headed. He's done a spun move, a spin move to the 35, maybe the 36. Spirit Lake takes over. Very good return by Spirit Lake. Uh, guys didn't quite get down there and, and fill their lanes as much, but they stayed in their lanes enough that he couldn't break it all the way for a touchdown. Nice work on that, too. And that's what it takes practice. It takes knowledge of your position, and it takes the ability to want to go down there and get the job done. Breaking from the huddle, 36-yard line. Lions are ready. Spirit Lake breaks. They do a split to the right side, split to the left side as well double back in the backfield they're actually kind of like a split <coughs> key if you will side by side in the up position quarterback under center wide side of the field is to the right they're headed towards the south end zone still number 21 gets the ball he rolls off to the right side nice Aaron handoff he breaks the around the corner the gets to about the 45 yard line before he's brought down so they're gonna very close to moving stakes if not about a foot shy yeah they got outside on that jordan wagner came up tried to make the tackle and the guy was just able to get by him and after that it, he had some open yardage there to pick up about uh, seven yards that gives them some offense to do some things and some openings to do some things because now they have some flexibility that's right they've only got three yards they can put the ball in the air and try to pick it up running or put the ball in the air twice whatever at, at this short yardage they break the huddle again there in that split back position of the tee if you will quarterback fakes a handoff to both of them rolls out ball's caught at the 45 he's clear to the 50 brought down by jordan gakey at about the 49 yard line of the lions and that's a first down, moving the stakes. Uh, Spirit Lake's getting excited about this on offense. Boy, I can see their crowd. They're really moving. They need that extra spunk, don't they? 146 to go. 7-0. to zero. Lions are up on this one. Spirit Lake across the 50-yard line. That's right. They're driving the ball. They're getting a little bit of confidence now, picking up a first down again. So uh, the Lions need to step up here and make a statement against their offense. Clock is a move, and the ball's placed on the hash mark. The open side of the field will be the left side of the field. They break the huddle. They're coming out in a split with a flanker on the right side to the short. 
Looks like the wide side of the field is open. The quarterback rolls out to his left. He's got a big rollout, left-handed pitcher, if you will. He just runs out of bounds. He doesn't get much at all. There is a flag in the field back in the secondary. Now, that about the only thing that could be is possibly holding or uh, can't be illegal contact because the ball was never thrown. That is correct. I wouldn't be surprised if it is a holding, but why would it be a holding? That's a place you don't need to hold in the secondary like that when the quarterback's rolling out because he's really, as he, the further he rolls to his left or his right, he makes that field shorter and shorter the closer he gets to the sidelines. One minute, 18 seconds to go. Lions are up on this one. Looks like the penalty will be against the Lions, so they're going to move the ball without even moving on an offensive play, really. That's right, and um, I'm, I'm assuming it's a 10-yard penalty, which make it a first down. 73 yards, 8 plays, 2 minutes and 31 seconds. It is a holding on the offense, or the defense, the Lions, correction. 7-0, to zero, first and 10 again. It'll just move the sticks for them. That's right. Should be first down now at the 39-yard line. Use the hands on the defense. 10 yards from the previous spot. Have the result in a first down. That gentleman has a loud speaker attached to his hip. One minute, 18 seconds to go. First and 10 for Spirit Lake. That ball's going to be on a 39-yard line for Spirit Lake. That's the furthest down they've become. That's right. Uh, they've done a good job here. Now they've got trips to the right. Trip to the right, quarterback in a shotgun position, one man in the backfield with him. Ball is snapped, it's a little high, it looks like it bounces off his hands. He just covers it, so he covers it about the 49-yard line. So they're going to back that line of scrimmage up a little bit. Uh, that the ball was snapped high just a little bit, not drastic, but I think he was looking to see where the defense was coming, took his eye off the ball and fumbled it. I'm going to have to agree with you on that, Dick, and I don't have to do that a lot. It's 5.57 seconds to go, first quarter, 7-0. Second down, about 14 yards to go. Ball's going to be placed on the 43-yard line. Quarterback comes out to the scrimmage line. The scrimmage is a double split, one left, one right. He rolls back to his right side. He's got the ball in hand. He throws the ball. It's caught well at the 30. The man goes out inside the 30-yard line. Depends on when this one marks it. But that was a very good pitch and catch. That's right. The ball was a little bit high. The receiver did a good job of turning his body around and reaching behind and picking it up. And if it's not a first down, it's going to be very close. A very job. Looks like it's about the 28-yard line is where it's going to go. Those stakes are moving. Yeah, it's a first down for the Spirit Lake Indians. Uh, the defense is going to have to start uh, getting after that quarterback a little bit more. They haven't been able to get to him yet. Fortunately for Spirit Lake, they've got a scrambler there. And that, that puts a, another stress and strain, if you will, on the secondary because that he buys more time, and his receivers, if he's on the same page with those guys, can do a lot more things out there. They break from the huddle. They split to the left and split to the right. He's under quarterback, under center again with a fake handoff. He rolls to his left. He is a left-hander at that. He throws deep to the end zone. It looks like it could be, and if it's caught, it is a reception inside the one-yard line. One-yard line. Excellent play. Uh, he got behind the defensive back. Uh, good catch. He thought maybe he would have made it into the end zone, but he must have hit the ground before he got across the goal line. It looked like it could have been a touchdown. Two seconds to go in the first quarter. Clock's ticking. One second to go. We're going to send this one back the to the studios. We're going to come back. You're listening to Lions Football in the Heart of Rock. Kyle FM 105.3. Welcome back, everybody. You know, that was a heck of a pitch and catch again. They're opening up our secondary to a little bit of uh, what's happening to them. That's right. Uh, they found a couple of open spots so far, uh, been able to exploit a couple of places. And right, but right now, they're down to where, you know, half-yard line, they're going to have to be running the football, and we'll have to see if the Lions can make a good goal line stand here. Quarterback under position. He's handed off the second back, too. It looks like there's a flag on the play. They did have some motion on that. I wonder if they had two people moving at the same time, Dick. And that's one of the things that, it, that a good team you can't make because now they're sitting down at uh, first and goal from the six-yard line. Uh, gives us a little bit of breathing room, uh, can give up a yard or so at a time. Anything within the 20-yard line of that end zone is uh, the red zone, if you will. We've got 11 minutes, 58 seconds to go. It makes it tougher to get something done the closer or the further you are in between that 20-yard line. They did kind of hurt themselves on that one, didn't they? That's right, but now you got the opportunity for a short, quick pass on, a, on maybe an out. Now they've got a double tight formation with two backs in the backfield again. Quarterback under center, barking out the call. Doesn't look like he's going to get it off, though. Looks like there is some whistles stopping the play. We're going to find out what it is. 
Looks like it's a delay of game now against Spirit Lake. They're going to move back another five yards. They're just not helping themselves. That's right. Now they've got first and goal from the 11. 11.58 to go. 7-0. to zero. Lions are up on this. Spirit Lake's going the opposite way of what they had the opportunity to go. And with this one, they had a first and 10, or first and one foot, if you would. Quarterback rolls out to his right. It's going to be a tough throw. Left-hander at it. Ball pitched. There's a flag on the play again. But that goes incomplete. That one was intended to number one of the Spirit Lake. He didn't come down with it. Number one for Spirit Lake is Tucker Stellinga. He's a senior there, but it looks like there's a flag on the play, Dick. What it is, we don't know at this moment. It's an uh, ineligible receiver downfield. That means too many people going in the wrong direction. That means some linemen got down past that line of scrimmage before the ball was put up in the air. They're getting a little excited, but they've had three penalties on three plays in a row. That's not the way you want to do it. That's right. That uh, makes the coach pull his hair out. <laughs> Uh, so that moves the ball back to the 16. Now, I don't know if that's a loss of down. Nope, still first down. First and goal from the 16. First and goal from the 16. So that backs it up three times, and that does not do well. No, it doesn't. But it does give them more distance, and so now they can go back to their passing game a little bit more and try to put some pressure on that way. Uh, always looking for you don't do that intentionally. Silver but are lining, aren't you? <laughs> always looking for that silver. They've got trips to the far right side. Quarterback under center, one back in the backfield. One receiver to the left side. He's looking to left right away. Ball thrown hard. Good defensive play on that. Number five for the Lions on that. Number five, obviously, is Andrew Eben. What a good defensive play. That ball had to be thrown quick because there was good penetration. He couldn't do anything out to the, to the wide side of the field because that was defended very well by the people out there. And when you have a left-handed quarterback rolling to his right is very difficult to throw to those receivers. So the anticipation there is that he's going to throw something to his left because that, and when you only have one receiver there, you can play him a little tighter with that, especially playing hard on the slant. A down and out would be difficult for him to play because you can play in that position for him. Once again, even on the left side, same position, three backs to the right side. Quarterback this time hiked over his head. He was in a shotgun. Ball gets back to the 30. He lands on it. Quarterback, the referee gives him a little bit of a spot because from where I'm standing, he landed on about the 34. That referee's giving it to him at the 33. Uh, 32 yard line. Oh, he moved it up for him as well. So it is now third and goal from the 33. 32. That one, that one was snapped over his head. It, it, it seems like uh, they've shot themselves in the foot, but that doesn't mean they can't still score. That's right. Uh, they had the long pass play to get down to the one-yard, half-yard line. Uh, they can try that again, but so far the defense has stiffened up and doing the job they need to do. They break from the huddle. Spirit Lake does. They throw splits out, trips again to the right side, one man to the left. Short end of the field is on the left side. They're going north. He's backing up. Looks like a screen. Screen off to the receiver at number 30-yard line, Ooh. number 21. Hard hit by a lion. That looks like a hard hit from number 28, Scott Even. And uh, the ball came loose a little bit, did not hit the ground. The receiver got it back before he hit to the ground, but it looked like that was Scott Even, wasn't it? It very well could have been. 10 minutes, 53 <laughs> seconds to go. <laughs> Seven to zero is the score. They did get a little bit out of that screen, and again, it's one of those ones you have to watch for. That's right. It looks like it's a timeout. You're listening to Lions football in the heart of Rock, Kyle FM, 105.3. Four, Dick. Spirit Lake has had an opportunity, but they're actually kind of shooting themselves in the foot a little bit. Three penalties, hiking the ball over the center's head. They're ending up here on the 24-yard line, fourth and 24. That's not the way you want to go as a coach. They're out of, out of position now in terms of they've got three to the far right side. Quarterback rolls back. He's not getting much. His feet slip out from under him. He launches it to the end zone. It looks like he actually throws it out of the end zone from about the 30-yard line. It didn't look like there were people on the same page when he was looking for a receiver to break in or out. Well, I think what happened was that Andrew Eben did a good job of uh, defending against their receiver. Uh, maybe a little bit of contact. They kind of ran into each other and just kind of held each other right there. The ball was thrown very deep into the end zone, no one near it. And as you say that, you know, I probably think you're right in that Andrew Eben was able to break that receiver's play off, and he wasn't able to do anything from there. Lions come out, double tight formation. Hall's on the right side, right come on the left. The ball's in the middle of the field, triple back threat in the backfield. Hands off to 
man through second. That looks like it's cool. He's to the 40. He's getting brought down from behind almost to the 50-yard line, 49. They're going to move some stakes, but that was a nice off-tackle run by Brandon Cool coming off hard. Yeah, he did that counter and did a good job of finding some open field and take off. Uh, number 10, the defensive man for Spirit Lake, uh, Tyler Solzma, tried to strip the ball, uh, which gave Brandon keeping his legs moving to get a few more yardage on that, but he did a good job of running that very quick. Lions get out to their own 49-yard line, break that one quick right away, 10.25 to go. Lions come out of the huddle, double tight formation again, triple back threat in the backfield. Hands off to the second back through, which is Reynolds. Reynolds gets past the 50-yard line, almost to the 45. They're going to probably put him at about the 47, 46-yard line. Again, good hard run. He got stood up, but he didn't uh, stop moving his legs and uh, was able to move forward and pick up that uh, three or four yards. Tyler Starr, number 19, in along with Ethan Hopp, number 48. Brandon Cool comes out of the game for the Lions. Breaking to the far left is Tyler Starr. We've got Halls at the tight end on the right side. Left side is Hop. I back formation. Gakey keeps it off to the left side. He's on his feet, kind of just rolling along. He falls over. Eventually, he gets past the 40 to about the 36, 37-yard line before his feet actually just come out from under him. He lost his balance. He got hit uh, about three yards down and uh, was able to keep it enough to keep the feet in there. And when he finally couldn't go anymore, he dove he just and dove picked up extra head. yardage. And that was it. 9.36. Clock is a tick and 7 to 0. Lions are up. Looks like number 23 for the Lions. And Lucas even is in. He split to the far left. Tyler Starr split to the right side. Ball's placed about the middle of the field here. Geeky under center. Even under the fullback situation. Hand off to Reynolds. Second back through. Left tackle side. He's breaking out. Nice black by number 23 out there. Even great block. We get down to about the 30-yard line to about the 26-yard line for a nice run. And very close again to a first down. Looks like the referees are going to take a little bit of time to check this one out. This is the kind of Lion football you're used to and you're ready for and you'll want to see on every play. And uh, that's why you got to give Spirit Lake credit uh, for that uh, first quarter playing a very good defensive game as much as they could to hold us to the one score. And this is one of the things that we talked about like with the people who don't get their names called a lot. Lucas Even, number 23, comes in plays a mundane play, but he makes a super block to break it loose a little bit and get some Lions out there moving. And he doesn't get the glory, but by gosh, he does his job. That's right. Uh, if he's not there making that block, the defense back steps up and maybe tackles him at a five-yard gain instead of picking up 10 or 11 yards. Derek Johnson now splits to the far right side. Hall's on the right side, tight end, but Johnson split. Hands off fullback up the middle. He gets stuffed early, but he gets about a yard or so, and that looks like even. Yeah, that was Scott Eben, and they, they stacked that up very quickly and very well. Uh, they've been, uh, tailbacks have been able to run, the powerbacks been able to run the counter, but they've made it a deserted, concerted effort to try to stop the fullback. Ethan Hopp coming into the game along with Tyler Starr with the play. Hall stays into the game, so it looks like it's going to be Hopp and Halls. It's a double tight situation. Tyler Starr splits off to the far right side, which is the open side of the field. I back position is uh, handled by Reynolds. Geeky under center, fake handoff to the fullback. Even Ke Reynolds keeps her, excuse me, Geeky keeps it. He's down to the 10. He's down to the 6-yard line before he's brought out. They're moving to 6 again, and they're going to move that one. That was a very nice run, a keeper by Geeky. Good job, and if you looked at that, Dylan Reynolds was down in front of him. was putting a block on the defensive uh, safeties and corners. Uh, giving him the opportunity to pick up even more additional yardage. One of those plays they can call right from the sidelines if the quarterback keep around. Kind of looks like the Geeky Express out there, doesn't it? <laughs> yes, it does. He had uh, almost student body right. Uh, they had a lot of blockers out there and needed a good job of sealing off and blocking downfield. Ball's on the right side of the field. They've got Halls on the left side. The right side fullback keeper actually hand off to Reynolds up the middle. He gets a touchdown off the right tackle. That looked like a fullback up the middle, but it wasn't. It hand off the second back through. Dylan Reynolds scored 13 to 0. And what was interesting about that, it looked like they were submarining at the line of scrimmage. He hopped over that initial line, and then he walked into the end zone. Very true, Dick. What happened there is the fake to the fullback really made them submarine and come in. The linebackers filled in to fill that in, which gave Dylan Reynolds the opportunity, as you said, jump over and go in. Number nine is on the hold for this one. Derek Johnson, ball snapped down. Zimbleman up with the kick. It's a big one up and no good. Looks like it was off to the left a little bit, but we couldn't tell it from here. And uh, the official was saying from the lines it was off to their right, the way they were motioning. Look good from here, but they were standing underneath the goalpost, so they had a better view. 
That's 7.59 to go. Lions are up 13 to 0. We're going to get ready here to kick it off again. But you're listening to the Lions football in the heart of rock. Kyle FM 105.3. Dylan Reynolds goes in with a kind of a high stepper and just walks into the end zone after a great fake to the fullback even up the middle. And I believe that's Dylan Reynolds' second touchdown tonight. I would concur. So Dylan Reynolds is good for about 12 points tonight. That's going to move him up on that scoring list, isn't it? Yes, it is. Balls at the 40. Zimmelman getting ready to kick this one off from the 40. Lions are spreading the puck across the field. Would it be an onside kick, Dick? Nope. Dick says no to this one. He'll take no for 50. It's 7.59. Approaches the ball. Kick high end over end. Receiver gets it about the 15-yard line. Hits it. He goes out of bounds off of him. That's where it's going to end up. Spirit Lake takes over at about the 15-yard line, maybe the 14. Now, I'm not sure what happened there. The receiver is there, had both arms up, hit him right in the arms or chest, and went sideways right out of bounds. It took a right-hand turn, didn't it? Seven minutes, 57 seconds to go. Second quarter, first half, 13 to zero. Lions are up. It's balls actually on the 14 yard line is where they have it marked, but it does look like it's a little behind that. Yeah, that's not what you want uh, from Spirit Lake standpoint uh, after a touchdown scored against you to get deep in your own territory that way. Double split, one man split to the far left side. That is the wide side of the field. Number five defending him, Andrew Eben. Handed off up the middle, movement of somewhat. They get about a yard, yard and a half going. And that's about it. That's right. The uh, interior defensive line was in there to help make that stop, as well as the linebackers. And I know as one person coming up off of that heap was number 79, Houston Perrette. Nice job by Houston there. 7.38 to go. 13 to 0, second. And they're going to stay about nine yards on this one, I believe. Second and nine, maybe eight. Balls on the 15 yard line, they think. They're going to split out again, one man to the left, one to the right. Wide side of the field for Spirit Lake is on the left side. Snap. Quarterback rolls out to his left side. He's rolling hard, but he's moving a little bit, but doesn't get much. He gets to about the 17, 18 yard line before he's brought down by number 65 in on that one for the Lions. Number 19, Tyler Starr. Number five, even. And number 65 was David Shue. David Shue. One more time, David Shue in on that. I love to see the lineman in on it because that's stuffing stuff. That's right. I mean, he's the inside man getting out there and getting out on, on the uh, fringe toward the sideline, helping make that tackle. Doing a very nice job. And also, you got to give credit to Wagner on that one for stopping it from going outside. That was his responsibility. He took care of it so Shu could be in on the tackle. They come out of the huddle again, split to the right side. That is the wide side of the field. Split man to the left side. Quarterback rolls out to his right. He throws it. It's an incomplete pass. A little bit quick before the receiver got turned around for that one. So that goes incomplete. It turns into a fourth down. Looks like they're going to be punting to the Lions. Yeah, I would assume there will be no fakes on here this deep in their own territory, which means the Lions ought to get very good field position on this. Going back for the receiving part of it is Derek Johnson along with Geeky of the Geeky Express. 13 to 0, 6.32 to go in this one. He's actually going to be punting from the five-yard line, so he's going to have to get something into it and hope for the best. Ball is snapped. Nice little kick. Goes out of bounds early. This one hits the track. He was angling that one to keep it away from everybody. We're going to find out where they come up to mark this one. They're walking. He's walking. He's going to the south to just pass the 30-yard line. 32-33, I'm guessing. That's right. Again, he uh, pulled the ball, uh, came out of bounds very quickly. The Lions have a very short field here. They're going to want to take advantage of this and, and try to score here very quickly. So it's going to be first and 10 ball on the 33 of Spirit Lake. Reynolds splits to the far left. Halls will be on the left tight side. We have 23 for the Lions. Lucas even split on the right side along with Man in motion now. Tyler Starr to his right. Geeky in shotgun position. Cool running in front of Geeky. Geeky keeper to the right side. He gets it to about the 30, past the 30 before he's brought down for a quick tackle. And I tell you what, number one, Tucker Stellinga from uh, Spirit Lake, he doesn't make that tackle. Geeky could have gone all the way. He had some momentum going in the right direction, but he was met at the hole and did a nice job by Stellinga. Nice job by him. Six minutes to go. Second quarter, 13 to 0. Lions break the huddle. Out to the left side, wide side of the field is Reynolds, followed by Tyler Starr inside. Shotgun formation for Geeky. One single back blocking for him is Cool. 23, handoff to Cool, fake handoff. Geeky does a stiff arm, falls down and just past the 30 because his feet fly out from under him. He got his body going a little faster and his feet out from under him the game. Probably that about the line of scrimmage. He do put a good stiff arm on that defensive back coming up and just push him down, trying to make the cut. 
feet just slipped out from underneath him. That goes back to getting your feet underneath you, but what a stiff arm to that defensive back. He had no chance of that. Tyler Starr splits to the far left. Hulls to the right side in the tight formation. Right come on the right side, but Bixman is on the right side split as well. Quarterback under center, hands off to Reynolds off right tackle. He doesn't get much. A lot of people wrap him up. He's, he's tackled about the 30-yard line, if that. And it's going to be fourth down at about the 30-yard line for about fourth and sixth. Uh, good defensive effort on this series by the Spirit Lake Indians. Spirit Lake stiffening up a little bit. I think the field is helping him a little bit, especially on the play that Jordan Gakey's feet came tumbling out from under him. Back into the field even. Back onto the field also is Reipkema. Off the field is number two, Jordan, or excuse me, Brandon Cool. Split out to the far right side will go star. Eye back formation is held by Reynolds with fullback is even. Quarterback Geeky under center. Hard card count. Flag on the play. Some people jumping. We're going to find out if the Lions held their own or if it's going against Spirit Lake. Oh, they're walking it off. It's going <laughs> stays in. Star stays in. Set ball. Cooks are on the defense. Five-year penalty. Repeat fourth down. Makes it fourth. It's Reynolds. Reynolds gets down towards the 20, after over the 25-yard line. Looks like it very well could be a very good for a first down or close to it. Did not get much yardage on that, but enough for the first down. From my angle, it was a good first down. I agree. 422, 13-0, Lions first and 10. Ball located on the 23-yard line, Dick. Lions are uh, taking a little bit longer on the short field to score than what they would like to see, but they are moving the ball, moving the chains. That's true. Split out to the far left is Tyler Starr. Reynolds in the backfield again. Gakey under center. Right come on the right side. Hall's on the left to double tight. Gakey keeps the ball. He's going to pass the ball out. Looks like it's going out to... Is that even? Pass is complete from Gakey to... Yes, it was. Even breaks out to the left flank, if you will. He gets out to the flats out there. He catches the ball. He gets us about a five-yard, six-yard gain. That ball is almost uncatchable, but a very good throw for a very good location. And uh, Jordan had some uh, defensive uh, linemen coming down on him closely, but he kept his composure, made a very good pass. The only, the only one that could receive and catch that ball was going to be Scott Eben. And Lucas even back into the ball game, split to the left side. Tyler Starr on the right, moving to his left and left formation, wide side of the field to be on the right side. They're running off tackle to the left side with Reynolds, Reynolds doesn't get a whole lot, maybe a yard, maybe two. This one's ticking down. That's the score is 13 to zero. Three minutes, 12 seconds to go. They're looking at third down. He's got maybe about three yards in third. Cool, Brandon Cool, along with Reikema coming into the ball game. Reikema with the play out of the huddle goes Tyler Starr. He's off to the sidelines. Breaking from the huddle of the Lions, double tight, left side of the field, triple back threat. Looks like two fullbacks, even along with Cool alongside of him. In the back, tailback situation is Reynolds. Hands off to Even. Even breaks it at the line of scrimmage. He's back. He gets a touchdown. Even in for the touchdown. Even in for the touchdown. Even in for the touchdown. Line score again, and I tell you what, there was a big pile up there at the line of scrimmage. You thought he was tackling, going nowhere. All of a sudden, here he comes, legs still pumping breaks some tackles and goes into the end zone. I love to see that his wheels are working. And they're, the Lions are going to go for two. They're going to go for two. In for the play is Dylan Reynolds along with Reipkema. Score now is 19-0, to 2.39 to go. This is for the PATs, if you will, for two points. Triple back situation, just like last time. Geeky under center, even up on the fullback. Cool on the fullback. Hands off to... Nobody, the quarterback keeper around the right tackle. It's another score by Geeky. The Geeky Express is on a roll. That's right. It's right on time and on schedule here. We uh, make the two-point conversion on a three-yard run by quarterback Jordan Geeky. Puts the score at 21-0 with 2.39 to go in the first half. Very nice work there for the Lions, keeping it going. I think what really did well is the hard count got them off sides. It goes to fourth and one. Now we get the first down. That was a key play in that series. And that's what can happen a lot of times on fourth and short, that everybody stacks up in there and wants to get you stopped. And if you can break that initial line of scrimmage, get to the second level there, get past the defensive line, you can get big yardage, and that's what Scott Even did. What I like about Even's movement is the fact that he kept the legs moving, just like you described. He kept the movement. He kept going. He got hit. He kept moving. He got hit. He kept moving. He got hit. He scores. He kept moving and scored, correct. And that's determination, but that also tells you he's healthy. 
That's right. Uh, that's one good thing to see. Uh, he's had that foot injury and a little concerned. I uh, played defensive last week, stayed off the offensive part of it, uh, playing some offense this week, getting into game shape a little bit more, and uh, doing very well. Looks like he's got some good wheels on him, you said. It's on the 40-yard line, Zimmelman getting ready to kick it off. A score of 21 to nothing. Two minutes, 39 seconds to go. First half. Approaching the ball, it's going to be a kick. It's high end over end. They recover about on the 10-yard line, fumbled. He stumbles around, picks it up again, lions in on the tackle. Number five, Andrew Even in the five tackle. What a beautiful job of wrapping him up. That's right. He got around the blocker and made sure he wasn't going to get anywhere and get up with any additional blocker and get additional yardage. And then reinforcements showed up to make sure he didn't go anywhere. But a good open field tackle. Very nice job by him. It'll be Spirit Lake first and 10, ball on the 20-yard line. He could have done more out of that had Andrew Even not been the one to stick it to him. That's right. Uh, he uh, he would have gotten uh, another 5, 10 yards or more. Wide side of the field for Spirit Lake as they're headed north will be the left side. Quarterback under center, hands off second back through number 21. Out past the 25-yard line. Number 21 for them is Nick Erickson on the carry. He's a junior. Nice carry by him. He gets about five to six yards on that, Dick. Good offensive play. A good uh, surge by the offensive line for Spirit Lake. Uh, defensive line uh, gave him a little bit. Bent didn't let him get, uh, break it for anything long. They know the clock is working against Spirit Lake here in the first half. Yeah, you can do that. You've got the ball in the 26-yard line of Spirit Lake. you got a second and four. You can bend, give up a few first downs before you go. Double split, one left, one right. Eye backs in the position. Quick pitch to the receiver out in the flat. Very nice hit by Gakey, but the man on the tackle there was number that two, Brandon Cool. He didn't get much of that, but he did get a little bit more than he should have. Very close, and it is a first down. The game of first down, but that's one of those things where, you know, you break that one tackle and you could be gone. Good uh, open field tackle by Brandon Cool. Very nice job by Cool out there on the left side. Cool's on the left side. Number five, Andrew Evans, going to be on the far right side for the Lions. That will be the wide side for Spirit Lake. When they're headed towards the north end zone, that's their left side. Looks like they've got a big defensive or player, offensive player number 17, David Doolidge out there. Looks like we've got number 21 giving a good stiff arm, but a nice, beautiful tackle to the sideline, getting up. Number 19, Tyler Starr, and a single open field tackle by him. That's right. The guy even got out there and tried to get to get him. Uh, he uh, shucked off the blocker. Pushed him outside a little bit more, a little more to the sideline, and that's when Tyler Starr came up and said, enough is enough. Second and 10. Ball's going to be placed on the 33-yard line. It's actually not second and 10. Probably about second and 7 from what I can tell. Clock ticking at 48 seconds. They don't have much time to get this ball moving. They're going to have to do a couple of passes to get something motivated. Double split out to the far right side. That's the wide side of the field. Quarterback under center. Two backs in the backfield for him to hand off to. He hands off to one. He doesn't get much, if anything at all. On the bottom of that pile is number 53, Zimbleman. Longer next is number 65, shoe. That's right. And it looks like from that play selection, that Spirit Lake is just willing to, to run the ball and let the clock run out. They will be receiving the ball to start the second half. They will, unless there's an onside kick if something like that happens. Because that could be what goes around comes around, one of those deals. Folks, we're down to nine seconds. This one's clicking. Before you go, the score is 21 to zero. Central Lion, George Little Rock up over Spirit Lake Indians. They split out one man to the right. They got a flag on the play here. And that's the end of the first and half. They, the, yeah, they didn't get the playoff. They didn't get the playoff. So you're listening to Lions football on the Heart of Rock, Kyle FM 105.3. We're going to be back with stat man Mark Barron, and we need to thank Dick Heidloff, the wizard of color. <laughs> stats for you. Unofficially, of course. First of the uh, Spear Lake Indians. 14 running plays for a total of minus 9 yards. 
Salzmo is 6 for 10 in passing for 79 yards. Hyder break, two catches for 42 yards. Stinglitz, two carries, 21 yards. Bonnickson, one carry, or one catch for 8 yards. And Erickson, one catch for 8 yards. The Indians are penalized four times for a total of 20 yards. At uh, five first half first downs, fumbled the ball twice, but didn't lose it. And your unofficial halftime stats for your Central Lions, George Little Rock Lions. 27 running plays for 204 yards. Gakey, 6 carries, 45 yards. Reynolds, 10 carries, 53 yards. One of those is 23-yard touchdown run and one a 5-yard touchdown run. Even, 6 carries for 56 yards. One of those a 15-yard touchdown. Cool, 1 carry for 25 yards. Star, 1 carry for 25 yards. Gakey was 1 for 3 in passing for a total of 6 yards. That catch being made by Even. Lions had 11 first half first downs, fumbled the ball once but didn't lose it. And they were penalized once for 10 yards. They've come up they've come up big in a couple of plays, and I think that's why the score lays out at 21 to 0. And the Lions haven't really been able to pile it on. That's right. Uh, they they had some good defensive series. They've done some things that are good. They've moved the ball occasionally, but they just haven't been able to be consistent enough to get the scores in. Again, 21 to 0. We're going to kick it off. Zimmelman getting ready. Ball located in the middle of the field. He's kicking off towards the south end zone, if you will. Lions are getting geared up. Fear Lake's getting ready. They have two receivers deep on the 10 yard line. Approaching the ball, high kick end over end. Dick is ahead on that one. Received at the five. Lions down on the play. Looks like he's out to about the 25 yard line. He's brought down by a couple of Lions. Getting off the bottom of that one. Number five. Number five. Nice job by Andrew Even once again. People seem to want to go in his direction. He just stops them. He's done a good job of making a good tackle. Uh, ideally, you want to keep him inside the 20. They want to get outside the 20 this time. They won a little bit by getting out to about the 25-yard line. Andrew Eben, a very nice tackle on the kickoff once again, getting geared up for defensive side. Ball in the 25, first and 10 for Spirit Lake. They've taken the ball out there. Got a double split, one left, one right. T-back formation, ball's fumbled. Quarterback snapped on it. He falls on it. Looks like they're going to retain the ball, maybe for about the line of scrimmage is where they're at on that one. Not much. Trying to see exactly where they, they put the ball down and where they moved the stakes. Stakes really haven't moved, so it must have been basically, well, now they're moving it back about a half a yard or a yard loss. David Shue, along with Zimbleman, in on that one just to get on top of that quarterback after the ball came out between the quarterback and the center. They come out again, split one left, one right, two eye backs in the back position with them. Quarterback flips it out to his left side, number pass again, man open. He catches it to 45, number 23, before he's talked, tackled down. He's brought down by number... Seven for the Lions, number seven, Eric Timmerman, along with number nine, Derek Johnson. Ball's located down the field. That's a double pass, if you will, one to the receiver and then another one down to another receiver. Ball's down to the 35-yard line. A little hanky-panky, but it worked. Yeah, a little trickery. They're digging deep in the playbook to try to see if uh, we're going to stay honest with things. Uh, the safeties reacted too quickly coming up for the run and got let someone get behind them. That's number seven, Eric Timmerman in on that tackle along with Derek Johnson coming over from his safety as well. Quarterback falls back again. Looks like it's going to be number 48. Ethan Hopp in on a quarterback sack. He's popped about the 40, 46-yard line. Yard line. Yard line. Uh, no. 43-yard line is where they actually marked the ball down as tackle. I think that was forward motion and progress, and that's where they stopped it. But he actually, he actually was tackled and put on the turf at the 46. Dick is right. I won't argue with him there. That's, that's right. And Ethan Hopp got quick off the ball, got around the D, uh, offensive tackle, and just tackled him in the... Uh, Second and 18, ball in the 34. They break the huddle, double split to the right and left. Quarterback fake handoff, rolls out. He's got some people hot on his tail. Incomplete pass to the 40-yard line. Receiver on that was number 21, Nick Erickson. That's right. He got spun around a little bit. The ball was a little bit low. Uh, if he would have picked, uh, caught the pass, he might have got back to the original line of scrimmage, possibly at best. But they actually take it back. It's an incomplete pass. Third and 18 again. Ball is located on the 43-yard line of the Lions. But that play that came out, double pass, one to the receiver. Receiver tucks it in and throws it again. That's what caught the Lions, and the man got behind the secondary on him. Now we've got a double split to the right. Looks like they're going trips to the far right. Wide side of the field, quarterback under center. 
One man split to the left. He's rolling back. Left-hander launches it in the air. A lot of air underneath it. Nobody knows where it is. It just lands incomplete. I don't think anybody got a measure on that one and knew where it was. No, the receiver, the intended receiver had no idea where the ball was because he kept running when the ball was behind him. And I think the defensive backs were going to stay close to that receiver to make sure he didn't get an opportunity to catch the ball if the ball came down. I agree. In on the defense on that again was Andrew Even along with number seven, Timmerman. Eric Timmerman back there for that one for double coverage. Looks like we're going to be getting the punt ball punted to the Lions. They're going to punt. Ball's fourth and 18, 43. Score again, 21 to 0. Lions getting ready to take over. We have Gakey back on the 10 yard line for the Lions. They're split out wide. Looks like they have some people that may turn into a fake, but it could not be. It's up, it's punted. The ball's in end over end. Gakey receives it at the 12. He breaks to his left. Again, he hits the middle. He's back, he spins. He gets to about the 24-yard line before he's brought down by about three of the Spirit Lake people. No one of those in that is Derek, Derek Stellinga is number one, again, in on the tackle. He's a good little athlete. And a good job there by Gakey and by the Lions. Uh, they only sent one back. They were looking out for a fake punt since the quarterback is the one who's doing the punting just to protect against some more trickery. That's number 12, their quarterback. Not a bad athlete all in all. Lions break from the huddle. They come out with a double tight formation. Triple back threat in the backfield. Hands off to Reynolds going up the middle. He gets a positive gain past the 30 to about the 32 yard line. Nice gain of about six to seven yards, Dick. I like that running. That's right. Uh, he got there quickly and then he kept the legs moving. Uh, he, uh, there's a little bit of time there. He was even going backwards as he was making forward progress. His back was running backwards. That was good. Nine minutes, 39 seconds to go, 21 to nothing. The Lions are running forward as they can, but then it gets spun around once in a while, and that's a good thing. Lions, double tight formation. Hot right come on the left. Man in motion, star. Gakey under center, eye back position. Second man through is Reynolds. He gets out to about the 35, 36 before he's brought down. In on the tackle for that is number 21 for Spirit Lake. Near Nick Erickson, 65 is another one. Peter Dennis, not a bad job by Reynolds getting that ball up there moving for a first down. That's right, he's got the ball at the 35-yard line for a first and 10. Reynolds hitting the hole hard. In on the, into the huddle this time is number 23, Lucas even for the Lions. He's splitting out to the far left along with Tyler Starr inside of him. Halls is at the tight right side with Ripem on the right side. Eye back formation, Reynolds, quarterback Gakey under center he rolls to the left he's got a block by even he's got Reynolds out in front of him with the block as well as the 40 45 out to the 50 he's run out of bounds by a couple of them on the far sideline maybe he got to about the 49 yard line and we have a flag out there and I'm sure that's going to be a holding call on the Lions unfortunately I didn't see the flag nor the hold but it's 850 to go 21 to 0 the Lions are moving it but there is a flag they're going to move it back on the Lions so it does look like it's coming back and it looks like Holding the offense, 10 yards from spot of foul, repeat first down. The Lions, they're backed up quite a ways, first and 10, ball on the 23-yard line, 8.50 to go, not a good time to hold. No, it wasn't, and that was a good pickup. Uh, picked up the first down by Jordan Gakey, but now they've got uh, about 22, 23 yards to pick Lucas up. Lucas even splits to the far right side. That's the wide side of the field. Tyler Starr inside of him rolls out Gakey to his right. Pitch out to the number 23. Catches that to about the 39-yard line. Lucas even with a very nice catch on that one. Lucas even again, what a catch. Uh, made a good catch. He did what he needed to do, catch the ball first, then run, and then when contact was there, he wrapped it up with both arms to make sure he didn't fumble. Picked up about uh, 15 yards on that. It's going to make it about second and seven. And that's, and that's not a bad play overall, even if you're going from 10 yards rather than going from... 18 yards. That's right. There's no reason. You don't have to pick it all up in one play. They picked up the biggest chunk now, and it's just like they got a four-yard running play on first down. Lucas even splits to the far left side, make a good showing for himself on that last play. Tyler Starr split inside of him. Holes is on the right side. Quarterback rolls out to his left side, Gakey. He's getting ready to pass across the middle. It's caught by even once more. He's to a first down. He's down to the 45-yard line. He is playing and becoming one of the stars. He did a good job. Uh, he came in there. I don't know if they were playing his own defense there, but he found the open space, found the seam, settled in there. Jordan Gakey found him and made a very quick, sharp pass to him to pick up a good first down. 
two plays to number 23, but he's going back in with the play again. I wouldn't be surprised if the Lions decide, let's make this train roll and do it with even. Even's getting things done for the Lions at this point. 7.34 to go, 21 to nothing. Even splits to the left, Tyler Starr to the right. Quarterback hands off to Reynolds straight up the middle. He's past the 40 to about the 39-yard line. Uh, picked up about six yards in a good offensive play. Good uh, served by the offensive line. Dylan Reynolds does a good job picking up six yards on first down. My opinion is let's get even involved. He's, he's the catalyst of this movement. Let's keep him going and let's ride this horse until it falls. Seven minutes to go, 21 to zero. Second and fourth ball in a 39-yard line of Spirit Lake. Let's keep that even in there. Let's get some things done. Derek Johnson splitting to the far right inside of him is Tyler Starr. Wide side of the field is the right side. Man in motion is Derek Johnson. He's coming across the field again to the middle. Sets in. Deep pass down to Tyler Starr. Ball intercepted at about the 10-yard line. He's brought down at about the 8, but that ball was underthrown a little bit, and the man cut it off. That's right. It was underthrown and thrown to the inside. If it had been higher and to the outside, then Tyler Starr was the only one who could have gotten to it. Uh, good, good defensive play by the Spirit Lake and getting inside and playing a good position and getting the interception. Number 18, I believe, was the man who intercepted that ball, Drew Daw. He's a junior, 154-pounder. Nice reception by him going in after it. Lions, they're going to be on defense this time. It's a first and 10 ball on the 8-yard line. Man is injured on the play. We're going to send this one to the studios. You're listening to Lions football in the heart of rock. Don't go away, folks. We're going to have some fun. For over 20 years, I've suffered from neck, arms, shoulder. Uh, good job by the Lions. They're, they're moving the ball here. They've got some uh, substitutes in in the line and in the backfield and, and still continue to do a good job of moving the ball. Uh, good experience. We'll just have to see how this fourth quarter can go. They're kind of watching Nate Herman a little bit on the sidelines. Looks like he's back to good health again. He uh, came off that one tackle. Looked like he might have been holding his shoulder, but he seems to be okay now. Could, put, could have been a possible stinger, but I think we're okay and good to go. Lions have the ball. Fourth and four, ball on the 13-yard line, double tight formation for the Lions. Geeky under center, hands off to number 23 for a great job running over there. Lucas even off the right tackle side. Didn't get much, but he had a hard run. And came close. Uh, I'll see if they mark it fourth down and picked up the first down. They're going to measure for this first down carry. Lucas even stays in on that one as well, but nice job by him. I like the way he covers the ball. I like the way he runs with his legs square, knees up. He's running hard. And you're telling me he's running north and south. In other words, he's not wasting a lot of energy getting to the sideline. He's running, picking up as much yardage as he can. We're waiting to see if it's a first down they're measuring. It is. It's a first down. They brought the measuring sticks out here. It's a first down for the Lions. 11.53 to go. Fourth quarter, 27-0. to zero. Ball's going to be on the 10-yard line. First and 10 for the Lions. Lions and Spirit Lake both have three timeouts remaining in this game. Not a lot of timeouts held. Number 11, Bixman, split to the left side. Wide side of the field, man in motion, Bixman to his right. So that closes down on that. Gakey hands off to Cool on the right side. He goes off the end of the tackle, into the end zone. It's another Lion touchdown. Brandon Cool, another Lion touchdown. He got hit a few times. He kept his legs moving again. Uh, these guys are running pretty hard. He never got taken down, and he just scampered right into the end zone from about 10, 11 yards out. What I really appreciate is the, why the way the Lions are playing for each other, always working hard for the extra yard, always helping. If there's a mistake, they tell them, that's okay. Come back. We'll get, ter get it taken care of. 33-0. to zero, Lions going for two on this one. It looks like number 23, D. Lucas, even in the backfield, eye back position. Bixman in motion to his left. Going straight at it, hands off first man through is cool. He doesn't quite make the first down or correction or the PAT conversion doesn't get there, does it? That's right. He got tripped up uh, at the line of scrimmage. We never had an opportunity to get really get going, which leaves the score at 33 to nothing with 11:34 to go in the fourth quarter. In on that one and the blocking as well coming off from that one. Drew Berkey doing a nice job up front in the line for him, working hard doing his job as well. Drew Berkey, really good job on number 64 for him. 11.34 to go, 33 to 0 is the Lions score, fourth quarter. We're getting ready for another kickoff, Dick. That's right, and uh, we want to thank uh, Big Ed at, uh, from Heartland for uh, sponsoring the first and second half kickoffs, and I'm sure he's going to appreciate uh, all these kickoffs that we're getting, and uh, we appreciate him for being one of our sponsors. And let's not forget, you know, Premier Bank, all the extra points. Make it a point to stop by Premier Bank and talk to their loan experts about your farm or small business needs. That's important stuff. Even though we didn't make it that time on the conversion, 
they're still our sponsors. That's right. We're looking at the Lions. The, the score, 33 to zero. 11:34 to go. Fourth quarter for the Lions, getting ready to kick off. They're going to be kicking off from the south to the north. Zimmerman approaching the ball on the 40-yard line. High end over end over kick down to about the seven yard line where it's picked up there by a Spirit Lake Indian. He's dumping and hurdling one man. He gets past the 20 to the 25. He gets brought down at about the 23 yard line. Number 26 on that one for the Lions along with number 12. Will Cruz, number five, Andrew Evans. Good job and the one down there, uh, Nate Herman uh, broke up the wedge, tried to get to the guy and he went down a little bit soon and the guy was able to jump over him but that gave the time for Will Cruz and, and even to get there and get him. Will Cruz stays in the ball game playing defensive back as well. We've got D him on the right side, number 23 for the Lions. Lucas even on the right side now. They're coming out in double split. Quarterback under center patches it out again to the flat man in the far side out there. Great tackle. Great tackle by Will Cruz. Will Cruz, number 26. Number 26, Will Cruz in on that one. Nice, fabulous job because that was an open field tackle. He could have gone somewhere. That's right. That was that play where they just quickly throw it out to the wide receiver and he tries to get some yardage and Will came up very quickly, held him to about a two-yard gain. The key to that is reading it. When you can read it that quickly and react, that's the big thing. Looks like they got a number big, number six, Harrison Hargett out to the right side, rolling into the inside, going deep. Quarterback rolling out to the second back through, overthrows the second back, incomplete. Ben Breezen in on that, along with Nate Herman on that for that defensive secondary for the Lions, along with P.J.P. Papinga. And uh, that was uh, number four, Dylan Reynolds, playing from his linebacker spot, going in there, chasing that quarterback around to give him a chance to really get set or anything. Tough for a left-handed quarterback to roll to his right and still make a good, accurate throw. The man that was open for him was the deeper man, but when you're running that way, you can't get it out there as well unless you have one heck of an arm. They come out in a double split to the right side, eye back for formation. Quarterback rolls out to his left. He's a left-handed man. He throws it deep. He puts some air under it. He's got a man out there. Depending on where he catches it, out of bounds doesn't count. Nope. Uh, he did get behind the defensive back a little bit on there. There was some good pressure being put on. Uh, by number 80, Zach Voss was in there on the defensive end getting some pressure on him. Uh, Houston Perrette was in there also doing the job. Good playing experience for those gentlemen right there. Dylan Reynolds waiting for the call to come in from the coaches. We're getting ready for a punt return, number 10 and number 23. Van Breezen goes back along with Lucas Even for the recovery on this punt. Punt's a little high. It is a good snap, though. It does get to him. It off to the side of his foot again, and it goes out of bounds at about the 45-yard lines of the Lions. Will they be taking over first and 10? And I'm, I'm sure we're going to see a whole new team come in here. Yep, I can see number 64 coming in, Drew Berkey, number 73, Matt DeGroat, number 66, uh, Brian Bender. Tyler Tungy, number 55. Number 6, um, that's Hunter Sieperda. Number 26, Will Cruz. Number 48, Ethan Hopp. And I think Mitch Van Breesen is coming in at quarterback. He's going to QB this one. It's no longer the Geeky Express. Now it's the Van Breesen Express leading the way for those Lions to get it done. 33-0, to 10-35, fourth quarter. Lions come out in a wishbone, double-tight formation. Van Breesen under center, hands off to the second back through with a little bit of running room. That's number 26, Will Cruz. Very nice job of getting it out near the 50-yard line to the, about the 49 to the 50. He picked up a good four yards on that. Good job of picking his way and making some good yardage. Nice job. Block, block ahead, move the sticks. They move that on a first one down. They get about five yards on it. That makes a lot of space out there. Number 37 for the Lions, David Blackburn coming in. He's a junior split in. 6'2", 170. Time to air it out, possibly, Dick. Yeah, we'll see what they do. They've got a tight end, Blackburn out to the left. Eye back formation, handoff to second back through. Somebody comes in on the blitz. Seeper doesn't get very far on that. A nice blitz by Spirit Lake. That's number 34, D.J. Smith on the blitz for Spirit Lake. And uh, lost about a yard or two on there. Never had a chance to get going anywhere. Barely got the ball handed to him, and a, somebody was coming through at him. 9.33 to go, fourth quarter. 33-0, to zero. Lions are up. Third and six, ball on the 48-yard line of the Lions. Ball's getting wiped off by the referee. Lions break the huddle. They have the wide side open to the far right side. That looks like it could be Cruz out there. I can't make out his number right now. 
Van Breesen with a keeper to the right side. He rolls off to the right. Some blockers out in front of him. Almost gets to the 44-yard line. Maybe to the 33 before he's brought down. But a nice little run all the same. That's going to bring up fourth and about uh, a long yard. We'll see uh, what the coach is going to do on here. I think they're going to go for it here at about the 41-yard line of Spirit Lake. Jordan, uh, we'll see if they can pick it up. Number 20, Jordan Acevedo going in to bring the play into Van Breesen. Nice time for these other players to get some good playing time and eat up some clock, possibly get a first down. We're four down and two, ball on the 47-yard line. Ace is to the far left side. Handoff fake to the quarterback. He keeps it. He gets brought down over the line of scrimmage. It depends on where they mark it, but it could be a first down for the Lions, all because of the effort of Van Breesen. Well, I think the one official on this side is marking the ball short. Uh, well, they, they motion, motion the first down. They've moved the stakes and everything They're already. moving the stakes. They're flipping the, the sides. Good thing there's no instant replay or flags on the thing there for the coaches to throw. That could have been coming back. So we were maybe given a gift. And Breezen breaks the huddle. Eight minutes, 15 seconds to go. Eight, the veto is on the left side once again. Split out to the far right side. Deeper to get the ball handed off to him. Blitzing run back coming through there. DJ Smith on a blitz again. Deeper to gets nowhere. Uh, it looks like a replay of the other one. I don't know if it's uh, the blocking scheme on what's going on in there or whether they're blitzing at times and they weren't expecting that. But again, he, Hunter got hit behind the line of scrimmage just instantly. He did. That can be a little frustrating for her back. <laughs> Carry the ball two times, get popped twice, and get nailed for losses. Not a good thing to do. Double tight formation for the Lions. Mitch Van Breesen under quarterback under the center. Triple back threat in the backfield. Hand off to number 26, Will Cruz. Get some good line off the jump off the line, if you will. Gets back towards the original line of scrimmage. He's just over that. He's probably about a foot, maybe a yard, nine yards short now of first down. And I see number 58, Brian Fredrickson, is coming in on the offensive line. Brian Fredrickson, very good plays for him. Ace Vito back in, number 37 for the line back in for play David Blackburn won again he's going to split out to the left side wide side of the field will be the right side splitting out to the far right side is Ace Vito. Mitch Van Breesen under center for the quarterback is under center currently hands off first back through number 47 fake handoff to him looks like he rolls out he's still on his feet Van Breesen running he's on his feet all the way down to the 15 yard line that was a very good fake quarterback to the fullback didn't go went to the right side he gets some open yardage he takes that ball for a first down all the way down to about the 15 yard line Mitch Van Breesen what a run he picked some good uh, good holes there saw where the opening was cut through there and got to the outside and got out like I said all the way down and like you said to 14 yard line first and ten Lions bring in number 83, but I can't find a name with him. Number 26 comes back in, Will Cruz, but 83, he's in there for the Lions right now. Don't quite have a name on him. Lions do a double tight formation, triple back threat in the backfield. They're on the right side of the field, wide side of the field to be to the left of the Lions, headed towards the north end zone. Handoff second back through, 26, Will Cruz gets the ball, does a nice spin, probably gets another yard or two on the first down. Not a bad carry. That's right. Uh, 83 is Clayton Bush, but uh, also uh, 86 was in there. I'm not sure who that is. 86, we don't quite have the name on. 20, Ace Avilo goes back in there. Number 37 back in there, David Blackburn once again. Coming out of the game is number 86 out of the game at this point. And I saw Dalton Jones also came off the field on that uh, after that play also for the Lions. Blackburn breaks the huddle early, splits off to the far left side. Looks like Seifert is the eye back in this position. Van Breesen with the ball, quarterback under center, currently snap, handed off, fake handoff, and Breesen keeps it to the right side again. He gets brought down. He doesn't get much further than the line of scrimmage originally. Now pick up maybe about a yard on that. It's going to bring up a third down and about eight uh, for the Lions in, inside the 15-yard line. Two players coming in, Justin Mallory, Brian Fredrickson, both coming in for the Lions at this time. Number 73, Matt DeGroat coming out of the game, along with number 66, Brian Bender. Into the game again is Will Cruz, number 86, going back into the game. Unfortunately, no name on him. Five minutes to go, end of the game coming up. Fourth quarter, 33-0. to zero. Lions break from the huddle. They go to a double tight. Looks like Reipkema is on the right side. Or is that, I believe that's Clayton Bush. Excuse me, Clayton Bush is on the right side. 86 is on the left. Quarterback... <laughs> 
tries for the left roundabout. Mitch Van Briesen gets his feet brought out from under him. He doesn't get anything, and he actually gets a loss. Yeah, number 35, uh, Cullen Andera, uh, was able to get in there and just got at his ankles enough that uh, caused him to slip and go to his knee before he could get uh, himself regrouped to get outside on the left-hand side. Clock is a tick and eating up the clock. 33 to 0. Lions still have the lead here. Four minutes, 20 seconds to go. Fourth down, 13 yards to go. Ball in the 17. So they need to make up 13 yards to get a first down and do a score as possible. Then Breezen under center, double tight formation. Blackburn to the far left side. Acevedo in motion. Hand off second back through. Steeper to the left side. He gets up front. He's down to the five-yard line before he's turned upside down. Nice little run. First down for Spirit Lake. But that was a nice run by Steeper when he hit the hole hard. That's right. He uh, picked up uh, all but about a half a yard or so on that uh, first down attempt. Uh, he got the ball down just inside the five-yard line. Not quite enough to get to the first down. But good run. Good hard run by him. Good run, good blocking this time going that way. Fortunately, nobody blitzed from Spirit Lake either to get that in the backfield like they had the previous three plays when Steeper to carry the ball. That's right. 3.57 to go. Lions turned the ball over on downs after a very good run by that second team. 33-0, to zero, first and 10. Ball on the five-yard line of Spirit Lake. They're going to come out of their end zone because they're standing on the five-yard line line of scrimmage. Double split, one left, one right quarterback rolls to his left it looks like a quarterback keeper looking for blockers out in front of him he's out to about seven eight yard line before he's brought down a uh, good run a lot of blocking out there good uh, pursuit by the lions of getting people out there and get that brought down after about a six yard gain 338 clock is a tick and they're going to have to do something that they want to score just to make it even seem closer than it is two ball on the four yard line actually ball Second down, four to go, ball in the 11-yard line. Let me think it through before I say it, I guess. Three minutes, 20 seconds to go. They hand off second back through, fumble, ball on the ground. Looks like it could be recovered by somebody. Who we're going to find well, out. Yeah, I think it's arrow. recovered by somebody. I think they're motioning that Spirit Lake got it. And I think <laughs> you are right on that one. Three minutes to go in this game. I couldn't tell who that somebody was, so I thought I'd wait the moment. But because of Dick's help, it was really good. <laughs> Spirit Lake person did jump on that one. Three minutes to go in this game, 33 to zero. Follow all the threes here. Third down, third to go, ball in the 13. 33 to zero, 245 to go at this time. Split out left, split out right for Spirit Lake. Quarterback hands off, second back through. He gets out to a little running room. He gets out to about the 20 yard line for a first down. They're moving some sticks for Spirit Lake now. That's right, they picked up a good first down there running off the Spirit Lake's left hand side of their offensive line. Picked up about uh, seven yards on that, which will make it a first and 10 at about the 20 yard line. So right, Dick, 2.30 to go, fourth quarter. They're breaking the huddle again. Slip man to the left side, wide side of the field to the right. Number 17, David Dinklage. Is actually split out for Spirit Lake on the right side. Double back formation, handoff, second back through off tackle. He gets drugged down. He's past the line, about the 20 yard line, but he gets drugged down by a lion. Number 41 in on the tackle for that one. Logan Rinquist with a nice job on that tackle. Two, two Lions coming off. Rinquist along with number 23, Lucas Even coming off the field. The Lions are getting ready for the defensive end of it. They're about a on the between the 20 and the 21 yard line. Second nine, 150 to go in this game, if you will. And I would think the defensive backs have got to be aware for them to try to, a real long pass here for one last desperation effort to score. I agree. David Dinklage split out to the far right side. Quarterback hands off. Second man through. They're rolling out to the right side. Up from his cornerback mm -hmm. position and defensive back position. Number eight in well, on that one for the Lions along with number three. Number three is Cole Zimmerman up with a great hit along with Jesse Vanderstreek. Number eight, both of them in on that tackle doing a great job. Good job. They had some room out there and had a couple of blockers. They came up and uh, kept them from getting the first down and puts down third and three now for the Spirit Lake Indians. They come up on that one, third down, third to go. Third, again, all the threes, ball on the 27-yard line. Split out to the far left side and right side. Spirit Lake double split with two backs in the backfield. Quarterback under center. New quarterback number three is his number. In on the tackle, number 56 for the Lions. 56, Nate Herman. He blasts through there on the blitz. For the new quarterback, Mitch Piercehorn. He's number three. He's a sophomore for Spirit Lake. 
Yeah, and that uh, actually brought down for a little bit of a loss. Uh, not a whole lot. It's still going to be about fourth and three. Um, we're dropping back to, to receive a punt. Mitch Van Breesen is back, but everybody will stay up just in case they go for it. It is. It could go for a block. It could be for a fake punt because it is fourth and third. Ball on the 27-yard line, 24 seconds. More ticks on the clock. Van Breesen coming up. They're actually going for it at this point in time. There is no punt on this. They're not even going to do that. Handoff second back through at the line of scrimmage in on the tackle number 70. Number 70, Allen Seitz for that one. Very nice tackle by Allen Seitz. I like the way he did that one. It's going to be first and 10 for the Lions. Good job by the defense to stop them short of that first down. The Lions have the ball 10 seconds to go. Uh, I think they're just going to let the clock run out once the ball is put in play. Looks like we're changing yeah, players again. They're going out with the first team, second team, third team people. They're coming in playing out. Looks like Seepert is out there again. Looks like we've got a new quarterback once again, number 15 for the Lions, Ethan Van Breesen. Ethan Van Breesen bringing it in for the first play, getting ready for this 10 seconds to drop off. Number 22 for the Lions, Alex Russ split out to the left side. We got a number 86 back in there as tight end. Seepert is the backfield again. Looks like Van Breesen hands off fullback up front. He gets off tackle. We're still blocking. That whistle hasn't blown, but the ball's been down for a long time. I think they're waiting for the clock to roll out of there. Out of the bottom of that one, who's going to see the carrier on that was number 30. Number 30 was the ball carrier for the Lions on that one. That's Jeff Wagner. Nice job by him. Final score on this one, 33 to 0, Dick. Not quite the game you expected, is it? No, I expected it to be a little more. Go it, <laughs> Should I take this? Should I take this time to honor Coach Greg Schmidt? Many of you have not know, but Greg Schmidt has decided that this season is going to be his last at Central Line George Woodrock. Coach Schmidt has coached for 39 years at virtually all levels of the football program at Central Lion and at Central Lion George Little Rock. However, it is his years as the varsity defensive coordinator that he has created the famed black shirt defense that we have come to expect year in and year out. Throughout those years, his defenses have been devastating at times and the numbers that they pull up are unbelievable. Coach Schmidt's defenses have been very distinct qualities year in and year out, tough, physical, fast, relentless, and most of all, team-oriented. Coach Schmidt has been heard many times yelling, trust the guy next to you. Above all else, Coach Schmidt coaches on the football field like he caught in the classroom. Very disciplined, very prepared, and very thorough. If you ask any former black shirt to describe their time spent with Coach Schmidt, they will tell you it was a progression. First, fear. Fear of getting your first defensive assignment and getting your Coach Schmidt butt chewing. <laughs> Next, realizing that no matter how much you thought you knew about the defensive game plan, there was always one or two reminders from Coach Schmidt that he would always catch you forgetting, which helped you realize he never left any stone unturned. Finally, that moment that it clicked in their minds that if I listen to Coach Schmidt, he will put me where I need to be, make the play, and the confidence to then make it. Coach Schmidt has worked under two coaches throughout his time as a defensive coordinator, Coach Null and Coach Lorenzen. They both felt very confident putting Coach Schmidt in charge of their defenses, knowing that in the game plan would be solid and carried out correctly. Coach Schmidt has touched many players and not only taught them football, but about being gentlemen and quality young men. On the field to join him for this special night is his wife, a number one supporter, Jan, his daughter Gina and her husband Dave of Sioux City, also not in attendance, but his pride and joy, grandkids, grandkids Annie and Jack, former head coach and all, the Central Lions George Little Rock football staff, and the 2008 Lions. Coach Schmidt, we would like to honor you with a small token of our appreciation. Coach Schmidt, Secretary of Defense, thanks for all your dedication, commitment, and great seasons that you were such a big part of over the years at Central Line George Little Rock. Once a lion, always a lion.